We're looking at chapter three, the getting started. The getting started of all of the chapters looks at math concepts that will be used frequently within that chapter. So um, some of them I'll say no calculator and some I will say use your calculator. So the first one, uh, express each fraction as a decimal. You can use a calculator for this one. Really, you should know these ones um, off by heart, but the, the tech tip over here on the right just reminds you it's numerator divided by denominator. But a half you should know is 0 0.5. 3 tenths, so think about 1 tenth is, is 0.1 as a decimal, and you've got three of them. So that's going to be 0 0.3. 3 fourths, think of 3 quarters. Three quarters in words in money is three times 25 cents. Each quarter is worth 25 cents. So that would be 75 cents, which is 0 0.75. And then two fifths, maybe you're not sure about that. If you think about uh, expressing that with a denominator of 10, you would multiply both by two. Four tenths, just like three tenths was 0 0.3, four tenths would be 0 0.4 but you can use your calculator if you need to. Next one, express each fraction in simplest form. Try these without. So you want to look for the greatest common factor between the numerator and denominator. So here, this is already started for you. Divide by 2, so that would be 4 fifths. Here, both of them are even, so that means at least try 2, if not something bigger. So um, I've kind of shown my work already there, so the answer is three-fourths. I don't really need this other spot here. Here, same thing. Um, these are both even, so start with two and see what you get. So you would get five-eighths, and that's in lowest terms, so you're good. These are prime number. Uh, sorry, uh, five is a prime number, so you know nothing can go into it. Eight is not prime, but five is not a factor of it, so you're good. Here, um, they're even, but I know 4 goes into 32, so I'm going to divide top and bottom by 4. So that gives me 1 eighth, so we don't need to use that. Next one, express each mixed number as an improper fraction. So, fastest way. So re really what you're saying here is 2 and a half is 2 plus a half. 2 with a denominator of 2 is 4 halves, plus 1 half is 5 halves. Okay, you don't want to have to show all of this. Um, oh, I guess it was shown on the left here. Uh, what I think about is take the whole number, multiply it by the denominator, that's four. So that means there's four halves. And then I look at the numerator and I add. So this is multiplying, this is add. And you keep it over that denominator. So three times 10 is 30, plus nine is 39 over 10. Four times, sorry, eight times four is 32, plus three is 35. Keep it over four. Always keep it over that denominator. 16 times eight is, what's that? 80, 128 plus one is 129 over eight. Um, I'm just making sure. Yeah. And then, Question four, express each improper fraction as a mixed number. So that's where um, you want to think about how many fours go into five. Okay, so really, you're dividing five by four. It goes in once, so that's your whole number. Subtract, your remainder is one, so that's one over the divisor. Okay, so really we would show this is one plus one over fourth so five divided by four equals one plus one over fourth but we can skip adding the one it's understood to be adding there then here this one you're dividing by 10 might not need to show any work but you can 10 goes into 23 so that goes twice 20 right with a remainder of three so that's two and three tenths here 2 goes into 15, so 7 times 2 is 14, so that's a remainder of 1, so 7 and 1 half. And then 8 into 35, 
Well, I know 8 goes into 32 four times. So my remainder is 3, so that's 4 and 3 eighths. And you can always check by uh, multiplying and adding back. Then adding fractions, remember you have to have a common denominator. So common denominator is already 4, okay? So you just add the numerators, okay? Express in simplest form, that is in simplest form, it's 5 fourths. You do not have to show as a mixed number unless it asks you. B, these do not have the same denominator, so we need to show them with the same denominator. So this one here, now I need to show with a denominator of 8, so I need to multiply by 2, top and bottom. So I keep the denominator of 8, 5 minus 2 is 3, and that's already in lowest terms. Next one, again, don't have the same denominator. I want to show first fraction with a denominator of 16, so I'll multiply by 2. That's 6. 6 plus 5 is 11 over 16. It's already in lowest terms. Next one, when you are adding and subtracting, uh, highly recommend, especially subtracting, that you convert to improper fractions first. So that would be 24 plus 3 is 27 eighths. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Don't even think about the negative. Just look at this part. Now we need a common denominator, so I need to multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. So that's going to be 27 minus 10 is 17 over 8. Now, they put an or because this was given in mixed number form, so we could show our answer, although really you don't have to. So if I do that, 8 goes into 17, well, approximately twice, remainder is 1, so 2 and 1 eighth. Next page, multiplying uh, fractions. So remember, multiplying is really the easiest. You multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So that will be 3 sixteenths. Next one would be 5 fortieths. Oh, sorry, 5 thirty second. Um, so here they are leaving a space to show this multiplication, but we're not going to show that. You need to know that in your head. So, uh, C. Remember, 6 is like 6 over 1, so we'll have 3 times 6, I'll show this because they've set a space for it, over 4 times 1, so that's 18 over 4, but we need to reduce that, right? So divide by 2, so that's 9 over 2, always, so it shouldn't really be an or, we need to show that. The or would be saying, okay, that's the same as 4 and 1 half. Next one, you do need to convert to improper fractions. So 12 plus 1 is 13. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then multiply, that would be 39 over 8. The or would be converting to a mixed number. So 4 as 32, so remainder is 7. Okay. And then dividing. Express the result in simplest terms. So remember to divide, you invert the divisor, the second fraction, and multiply. Okay, and then multiplying is going to be 40 over 8, which is 5. Now, multiplying, remember, you can divide out. If you can see a common factor between the numerator and denominator, anywhere, numerator, denominator, you can divide it out. So that would be 5 over 1, which is 5. Okay, so please do that if you can see common factors. So that would be 1 half times 4 thirds. And again, if you see, I'll maybe switch to red. If you see 2, oops, highlighted. Uh, 2 goes into itself once, into 4 twice. Then when we Multiply through 2 over 3. So we don't need that. This one, now we need to show the work. So 3 fourths, that doesn't change. This ends up being multiplied by 8 thirds. And now this is a nice one. I wouldn't multiply right away. I would divide out the 3s. So those will be 1s. 
4 goes into itself once, into 8 twice. So 2 over 1, which is 2. In, convert to improper fractions. So 8 plus 3 is 11. I put two blue. So 11 over 4 divided by 3 over 2. Um, so that's going to be 11 over 4 times 2 over 3. And again, 2 goes into itself once, into this twice. That's going to be 11 over 6. We don't need that. And 8, express each measurement in the unit shown. Round to the nearest tenth. If necessary, use the charts inside the back cover. So if I'm going from kilometers to miles, I want what one kilometer is in miles. So if you look in your chart, this is a linear measurement from metric to imperial. So one kilometer is 0 0.62 miles. So if I've got five kilometers, um, then I want to take five and multiply by 0 0.62. Five times 0 0.62 and that's 3.1 miles okay next one inches to centimeters so I'm looking for one inch equals how many centimeters look in your chart oops um, here one uh, sorry one inch so I'm looking at this equals 2.54 centimeters. So then I've got 12 inches, so I want to multiply by 2.54. So 12 times 2.54. 30.54. 8. Now it says round to the nearest tenth, so this would actually be 30.5. C, so one meter equals how many yards? So metric to imperial. Uh, metric to imperial, one meter is 1.09 yards. So 40 times 1.09. is 43.6 and that's to nearest tenth so we don't have to do anything and then uh, miles to kilometers so one mile equals how many kilometers so that's imperial to metric miles to kilometers 1.61 so 100 times 1.61, well, really, that's moving the decimal 2 to the right, so 161 kilometers. Okay, and that's the end of the getting started.